To put a forum on your class, go to the class that you'd like the forum in and turn your editing on. Then go to the section that you'd like your forum to be posted and add an activity or resource. Click on forum and you might take some time later to go ahead and read all that. It's got some good information in it. Click add. And let's think about what you want to name your forum. Um, how does math help you in life? Now, there are several different types of forums. There is the standard forum. Um, anyone can post, anyone can reply just a back and forth kind of a blog function. A single simple discussion, um, one page, a quick, quick question. Um, each person posts one discussion. That means that um, each student can get on and talk about something that's important to them and other students can get on and reply to that. Um, it's a little bit more controlled than the standard forum because every student can only post once in that. Probably the one that you want to use most often is this question answer forum. This is where only the teacher can post a discussion thread, but the students can reply to it. Um, although they can't see others' replies until they actually reply themselves. So that's a good one to use if you're going to grade this. Under the description, don't put the question itself if you want the um, uh, replies to be hid. So just put um, requirements for grading. How involved do you want the students to be in this post? Do you want a one-line answer? Do you want a paragraph? Um, a um, off the off the top of their heads thing, or do you want it to be um, have supported arguments inside it? Really think hard about what are the requirements for this post, and you'll get a lot better posts that way. Now, um, this is stuff that you can change if you want to, but you don't have to. Subscriptions are things that will automatically email them when somebody posts. Um, some students have put their parents' email on as their email, so you probably don't want to hit force subscription, but just leave it optional. Uh, read tracking. Um, if they get back on and read it, it'll track what they've read. I kind of like to turn this off because uh, then they can reread all the posts that have uh, led up to that uh, reply. So you might want to consider that. Blocking. If you have students that um, reply all the time to somebody else's uh, replies, you might go ahead and block it for a day and they can only reply once. So probably won't have a problem with that, but maybe later. Great. You can put this again in homework, quiz, or test if you would like Rimweb to, gra um, to grade it for you. And then we grade with these ratings. Um, there's different choices. You could, if you're going to rate, um, maybe their initial post and then their reply to other people's posts. You might have an average. 
if you want them to just get on and talk a lot, you can do counts. If you want one really good post, but a few casual others, you can do maximum rating or sums. Now, um, if you want RimWeb to grade it for you, you need to click this box. Or, well, you'll have to turn ratings on first. Click this box and then tell it when to start it and when to end it. And if you have an ending date, RimWeb will put it under your um, homework or whatever you told them it was. Groups. We probably don't need to have groups here. Um, this is for larger classes that have several sections or maybe a lower learning disabled group inside the classrooms. So we can just leave that as none. And you can say save and display. And then it'll come up like this. So add a question here now. And put in the subject and then um, your very detailed question about it. And if you want to subscribe to it, you can. And it'll send you the student's re replies. After they post, they have 30 minutes to edit it before it's posted online. So you might want to tell them that, that um, to read over it after they post and make sure that's what they want to say. And then you can post a form and start getting your uh, replies to it. Over here, it'll come up as grading after some people have posted. And you can rate it as a um, like a 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, whatever you set up for the ratings. Now there's a lot of help uh, on the internet. If you Google Moodle forums, they'll probably tell you a lot more in-depth uh, information about this topic than I've been able to tell you. But this is a good introduction.